If you're like me, you probably have a plethora of those unknown, unnamed, and unmarked power bricks kicking around your home. In the old days, every device on the planet had its own proprietary brick with its own proprietary configuration, requiring a certain amount of watts and amps in order to make the device work. If you're also like me, you've probably torched one of your devices or screwed it up by plugging the wrong power brick into the wrong device. That leads us to today's topic. I am often asked if you can interchange power bricks for things like the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, your phone, your laptop, or even your Nintendo Switch. The answer to that is coming up, so stick around. The magic of this whole process is something called PD, or power delivery. This is a bi-directional protocol that allows a powering device and a device that needs power to negotiate the required amount of power to be delivered at any given time. For example, I have here the Steam Deck Power Brick. Now, this is rated at 45 watts, and it is more than enough to cover the Steam Deck, charging the battery and playing a high-end game at the same time. Even so, it's only gonna use about 40 or 41 watts. If I were to use the Steam Deck dock with it, I would also need the overhead of the dock, which would be about five watts. So that gives you a total of 45 watts. So the Steam Deck power adapter was sort of built a purpose to power the needs of the Steam Deck. So can you plug in your Steam Deck power brick into your Switch? The Switch is also a PD compatible device. When I plug this into the Switch, there's a communication between the device and the power source says, hey, I need 25 watts at a certain amperage. And the device being PD compliant says, yes, sir, here you go. And it delivers exactly what's asked for. No more and no less, provided it can actually provide the amount of power required, of course. If I were to take this Steam Deck 45 watt power brick, that's PD 3.0 compatible, and plug it into my gaming laptop, you will see that the gaming laptop gives me a warning. You're using a low power charger. Your battery might not charge. You might have weird things happen. <laughs> Just be warned. So we'll use the power you're giving us, which is 45 watts, but it's not enough. And essentially why that is, of course, is that the brick that came with that gaming laptop probably produced 125 watts or 40 watts of power, which is what this particular laptop needs. If I were to plug this 45 watt power supply, it will negotiate and say, hey, I need 130 watts. And the Steam Deck power supply says, I got 45, I'll give you as much as I can, Captain. I'll not lower my screens. So essentially the laptop gets the full 45 watts of that power supply, it's just not enough. Likewise, let's say I took that 130 watt power supply and plugged it into my Steam Deck, plugged it into my Switch, plugged it into my phone. These devices can all negotiate thanks to the PD or power delivery protocol to receive the correct amount of power no matter what, period. The other thing that makes PD 3.0 interesting is that it can negotiate and it can negotiate on the fly. Meaning that if say you're charging an Anchor 737 battery with this 45 watt Steam Deck power supply, if the battery's dead and the logic says, let's get as much power in here as humanly possible, you plug in the Steam Deck 45 watts and look at that, it's charging at about 45 watts. Now this particular battery can take like up to 140 watts of juice. And if you can provide that much juice, it'll probably charge a lot faster. But it doesn't mean it won't charge because you're only using the 45. Now somewhere the logic in this battery may say, hey, I'm getting too hot, too fast. I need to negotiate a low power supply. So it negotiates and says, hey, I don't need 45 anymore. Let's knock it down to 20 until I cool off a bit. So it knocks it down to 20. When it cools off, it re-requests and says, okay, go ahead, give me all you got. I need 140 watts here, 45 watts sold. So it will continue to charge at 45 watts. That's a neat feature that none of those old power bricks had. With those, it's all or nothing. You plug it in and that's what you're getting, just that simple. The last thing I wanna tell you about PD 3.0, which is really, really cool, is that it's not only bi-directional in terms of communication, it is also bi-directional in terms of power. So for example, if you were to plug a dead battery into a fully charged Steam Deck, it would start discharging the Steam Deck and sending the power over to the battery. So yes, PD allows us to power share 
with any supported PD device. It's really sort of a neat thing, and I've used it to charge my wife's phone when hers was dead and I had a full charge. It's damn cool and handy if your phone is about to die. Let's recap. Power delivery, or PD, is a protocol that allows a device that needs to be charged and a charging power supply to negotiate the power without overcharging or overpowering the device. Likewise, if the power delivery is inadequate for the device in question, it will simply take as much juice as it can, possibly slowing the device down, providing warnings or things of that nature. All of these power supplies are interchangeable. I can use the laptop's power supply on my Steam Deck, my Steam Deck on my Switch, my Switch on my laptop. It all works out in the end. Hey, if you've learned something in today's video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, and be sure to check out some of these other great videos on the Monroe World channel. Thanks so much for watching, and take care. We'll see you next time.